the piece is called In a Thousand Drops, Refracted Glances, and the work is an audio-visual installation with some interactivity and uh, takes the form of uh, about 110 individual screens that hang in space with uh, spatialized sound. And uh, we project uh, various body parts onto the screens. The net result is that you see a kind of mosaic uh, of those body parts or a kaleidoscope that moves on the screen. We're very interested in this idea of, of ecological media, of, of, of representing things not in a, a single unity, but in many different components, and reflecting the way the real world is, is many interrelated parts. I hope that this piece can provide a mirror for us um, in understanding ourselves as a part of one planet and also seeing all of those differences within ourselves. It's a profoundly multicultural community that we live in. So we swim in this, this river of cultures and uh, every day we're, we're working with, playing with, interacting with people from everywhere in the world. And so it is very much a reflection of that multiplicity that we live in today. My notion of the sound is, is also reflected in that idea of multiplicity. So many of the sounds that you hear are actually constructed from or represent harmonics. And uh, harmonic is a, a, a component of a musical sound. And what we've done in the soundtrack is isolate those harmonics. So in fact, you're hearing the components of the musical sound and sometimes you hear the entire sound itself. But there is a sense that the pieces of, that we normally associate with sound are represented individually in the way that the pixels and the parts are represented in the images. So rather than just projecting a series of images as a kind of complex photograph, they move and they, there's a sense of dynamism and, and animation. And that notion of animation also through the interactivity reanimates the relationship of the participant to the work. You uh, get to become part of the work in a sense. You com help complete the work. Without you, it, it still moves, but it wouldn't move in the same way and it wouldn't move in the unique way that it does when you participate with it. This piece, uh, when you take away representation and you start working at the level of pixel, at that level of point line plane, you reach that level of abstraction where it becomes just musical. There's this notion of, of randomness, you know. Uh, I think if you look to that idea of r the random, it comes back to, I think, our real admiration for the work of John Cage. Uh, and uh, it, within his world and the ideas that he spoke of, uh, the, the notion that the random reflects the universe at that moment most perfectly, I think, is an idea we all embrace. There were a few breathtaking moments where it did things that we had not anticipated. It, because it's really a painting, you know, it's video painting and it's painting on this panorama of screens. The aspect of the work that uh, makes it a new media work as opposed to a painting is the sense of time, the aspect of time in the work, the fact that it changes over time. New media works, because of their mutability or their dynamic quality, give you that kind of change in a more compressed time scale. So things change now while I'm here. And I can come back later and not only has my own conception of the world and who I am changed, but the work itself will be different the next time I come back to it. I love the fact that you begin to realize that this large eye is made up of many other eyes. I think one of the things that I came to love was the sort of jewelry of the eye, you know, the way the, the corneas have these beautiful colors and the black part of the eye is glossy and it looks like an opal or, you know, it's, it's just all quite beautiful and it's, it's variety and it, it makes you playful. You tend to want to move a little bit, you know, and so it, it makes you, it gives you a more visceral experience of the screens, which is the idea because it's about bodies. So it em embodies you in some ways. To my mind, it's clear as I get older that everything is intimately connected and you can't disregard 
one part. You know, in the past 20 years, we've learned that there's no away. You can't throw things away because there is no away. It's all here. And so the, to me, the piece, the, this notion of, of thinking about the components and the smaller parts and the, ultimately all of the parts acknowledges their value. To my mind, that politically, that's the only way we'll be able to survive is if we can respect all the pieces that make the planet because I'm not sure there is any one piece that's more important than another. <laughs>